Oh, yeah, I lost a uh, white Springer Span with brown spots on named Kirby. Real energetic, happy dog. Did you see him? Oh, I haven't seen him. Man, I only took him off the leash for a couple of seconds. I can't believe this happened. Kirby! Oh. He's like a family member, you know? Oh, I know. I feel the same way about Brutus. I love my Brutus. I can see why. Do you walk in here every day? Yeah, I do. Could you do me a favor? My name is Marcus Graham. Here's my card. If you bump into Kirby, could you, like, call us and I have somebody come pick him up? Okay. Well, good luck. I sure hope you find him. Thanks. Curb! Kirby! Wait, let me give you my number, because I'm not going to be able to sleep until I know you found him. Do you have a pen? Do I? <laughs> I have a pen right here. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good luck. Bye-bye. Kirby? Curb. Curbster? A lot of you guys may not know about the reference. I'm an older woman, I have to admit. <laughs> and so Boomerang came out in the 90s. And um, like I said before, big fan, big fan. Even though I was young, I remember that movie. I've watched it so many times. So when I saw the title, Reversal of the Dog, last week before the show even aired, by the way, unless you had the soundtrack, you don't know about Reversal of the Dog. All the titles are part of the soundtrack. That was one of my favorite songs on there because it was TLC. And that song was just lit. Anyway. So, if you know about Boomerang, you know about Kirby, you know the Eddie Murphy... Uh, Marcus Graham um, c said he couldn't find his dog Kirby and was lying about it because he was trying to get with <laughs> little mama. So to me, this was a reverse. I will admit that I feel like um, as far as Marcus, it's not Simone who's being like Marcus. Bryson is actually being like Marcus. Well, he's trying to be. Um... When he went to the barber shop, the barbers broke it down. Just like going to the beauty shop and having no discussion with the women. The barbers barber shop it happens the same way. When Bryson said he couldn't get it up or he couldn't complete the task or close the business whatever. With the young lady with uh that had Kirby, you know, the barber pretty much said, Well, the last time that you were with somebody was with Simone and she broke your beep. Pretty much, he's still in love with Simone, and I agreed to Barber. He was trying to be somebody that he was not. When he finally said, shave the beard, I was like, yes, somebody finally broke it down to you. You're a nice guy. You're a good guy, okay? You're not like, I don't want to say Ari's a bad guy, but you're not like Ari, other people who just want to be out there and just banging, banging, banging. You actually fell in love with Simone. You want to be with Simone. But you got in your feelings and you got hurt because she kissed somebody else. Your ego was bruised because you have a pretty girl and you got intimidated or whatever because another guy kissed your girl. Okay? That's really what that's about. Okay, well, Ari, on the other hand, I really thought that I'm not going to say he was confused. I really thought that he was just wild and free. But as you break it down, he doesn't know what he wants either. It seems like he has fun with women. He has fun with men. And the, being with men is, is, you know, new to him. But even there, there's issues. I kind of wonder what's the issue when he, when he was with women as well. It's like he just wants to have fun, but nothing serious. And when he, when he was with that young man... He was in public. He didn't want him touching him. He didn't want anybody to know that he was sleeping with other men. He doesn't know what he wants, and he's not comfortable with this other side. But he's young. He has time to figure it out and explore and see what he wants to do. But <laughs> it tripped me out because when, you know, the dude, he got mad. They was at the little shaking place, and they touched his hair, tried to move some out of his hair, and he was like, yo, chill out because other guys were looking. And so when he got to the apartment, he would just act like nothing happened. Like, yo, get grab me a beer. He was like, drank his water, and he grabbed his stuff, and he left. And he was like, yo, why are you tripping? He was like, you need to get your crap together. <laughs> but he tripped me out. He walked up to him and said, hey, you forgot your nuggets. <laughs> I think Ari will figure this all out uh, when he's ready. Just like Bryson will figure this all out when he, once he finally realizes either he needs to be with Simone or he needs to not be with anybody. Because that's why he couldn't really get anything 
he's mentally, he's a mental block, okay? I think that Ari thought he knew what he wanted, but the more he did, the more he was like, uh, I don't know what I want to do. So it's a part by being young and trying to figure things out anyway. Last week's episode was about Lala. So this episode was focused on Ari and Bryson. Um, and like I said, people have said it's like they feel like it's a Bryson show or Simone show. But, you know, I I don't agree. I feel like that each character is getting their own. The show's only 30 minutes long anyway. So, you know, to pack what you can in for that time frame. But as I told you guys before, check out BET or get the app. If you have cable, so you can watch all the shows. Um, if you check out all of the titles of the shows, look at the episodes. They're all the same titles as the um, soundtrack, which, it well, I don't think I still have it. It's all, the tapes. I don't think I have any of my tapes left. I'll tell you how old I am. So thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And for everybody who's new, I appreciate you and love you. And you guys be safe out there. Please wash your hands. Please keep your face covered. And if possible, please stay home.